The Text Study Bible from Nelson Bibles and HarperCollins Christian Publishers is aimed at students and new believers. Is it a Bible that you'll want to use? I want to thank HarperCollins Christian Publishing for providing me a copy of this Bible to review. Although I did receive a review copy, my opinions are 100% my own, and I'm not influenced at all by any kind of monetary compensation when I am reviewing this. Now, another note to make is that when I review a Bible, I am not a theologian. I am not making any kind of textual criticism about the translation, nor am I making any commentary on the notes that are in the Bible, the, the side notes that are provided in the Bible. I'm merely looking at this as a published piece of work. How does it look? How does it read? What do I think about this um, text method that was developed in this Bible? And we're going to get 100% into that right now. So I've got some notes here that I want to read to you about this Bible. It's made with students and young adults and new believers in mind. Uh, this text concept introduces a new memorable study method. Talk to God, encounter God, examine your heart, and talk to others. And this is designed to help readers of every experience level interact with God's message. Along with the easy-to-use Bible engagement technique, answers to common questions, prayer prompts, and easy-to-understand study methods, the text is a Bible readers of any experience level will want to use every day. And I will say that in going through this, when I first opened this up and you saw it, my reaction and the initial reaction is that these margins are wide. So if you are a note taker, this Bible is like going to be top notch for you because there is lots of room here for you to take notes. Now, I will say that the, the font is very clear. It is small. Not a, I've seen smaller, but it is clear and that's really nice. What do they call this? They have a description of this font here somewhere. Oh, <laughs> it's right here on the back of the uh, dust jacket. Clear and readable nine point NET comfort print typeface. So I, I kind of get the impression that this uh, typeface is was designed along with uh, the Bible. There's an asterisk there that says comfort print and I cannot find what that refers to. But again, it's got a dust jacket. Let's take the dust jacket off. I'm really more of a soft cover Bible person, but even without the dust jacket on, you can see that the front looks just like what's printed here, which I really like that because oftentimes when there's a dust jacket, the publishers don't bother to put anything on the cover. It's just plain. And I do like what they have done with this here. I'm going to put this dust jacket aside because otherwise I'm going to tear it up. Again, wide margins. I really, really like these wide margins. And at the beginning of every book, let me find here. I'm a Proverbs guy. You see a number of prompts and I'll do some close ups for you. Um, it probably won't be a Proverbs. It'll probably be whatever they have provided. But it talks about the authors, the approximate dates that people believe that it was written, key verses, the purpose. And then it gives you some instruction about the purpose of the book. If we go into the New Testament, we can see here in 2 Corinthians, there's a number of extensive notes there. Let's flip back to one of the Gospels and see what they have at the beginning of the Gospels of, let's see, the Gospel of John. It's my favorite Gospel. Um, yeah, so there you go. Lots of nice notes here about when it was written, who the author is, key verses, and the purpose of the book, Encountering Christ with John. 
and then you see throughout this now all of the by everything is not the same all, each page is not equal as far as note taking so as you can see here there are a number of notes already provided but you turn the page and you have more blank space to write so every page is not like this where it has nice wide margins but a number of the pages do have wide margins so there are a number of devotions there are what it says a hundred short devotions about who god is what his character is there are sections that talk about praying the word of god and how to pray pray the word of god and like like i said brief descriptions of the text itself who who's writing it uh, what the context is of what's being written and it just has a lot of these neat little features that if you got kids who are kind of blanking out on the longer sermons in the main service this would be very helpful because it hits some of this historical information who's writing it why they're writing it and um, i think that's really a great tool for uh, young people and new believers i found that because this is a new english translation i find the new english translation really useful for using with people who aren't as comfortable in church or who are new to the faith because it's it's a very approachable translation as a, opposed to the king james or the new king james even the revised standard version um, it's not as technical a translation and i like i like that because it's approachable now i said at the beginning i wasn't going to be commenting on the on the translation and here i go commenting on it but i think this is really great for people who are just getting started so here's one of those things uh, that I was talking about where they have the, the text the text study that can be tough to say sometimes. So here's in, in James chapter 4 and where it has this kind of text outline, this little mini devotion that people can read and learn a little bit more about who God is. So if you know a teen or a young adult or a new believer who is looking for a study Bible, I think the text is a good Bible for them. One of the most important things, especially as a new believer, is knowing who God is. And I think this does a great job of demonstrating that based on the little studies that I've read. Now, if you want to get a copy of this Bible, you can get 50% off uh, if you order before Valentine's Day. There will be a link in the description below for that. And in addition to that, I am giving away a copy of this Bible. So if you would like to be eligible to get a copy of this Bible, leave a comment below and I will pick one of the commenters to, um, to get a copy of the Bible. That's all it takes. Um, you know the deal. You know the drill. Leave a comment. I get in touch with you and you respond to me. So again, thank you to Harper Collins for providing this copy of the text. And I will need to have for the giveaway when I um, get in touch with you, I'll need your full name and your full mailing address in order to do that. So this is going out. Uh, this video will be published on Friday the 13th. I will pick a winner by the 18th. And then I will need to hear back from you by the 20th in order for you to get the uh, Bible sent to you on time. So leave a comment below if you want an opportunity to get a free copy of this Bible. And of course, 50% off if you order by Valentine's Day. The link is in the description below. Thanks again for watching. Uh, give this video a like if you could. I'd appreciate it. And... Uh, We'll talk to you next time. Bye.